everybody, Craig Lemire, Moss Studios. Uh, this month my article is on impact and how uh, we create images that have that big wow factor or images that stop people in their tracks and so they have to look at them. Uh, I know on a daily basis, whether it's in the Shutterfest group or if it's in my own group, you know, I see images that literally just make me go, oh my gosh, I can't even believe that someone created that or Oh my gosh, like, you know, how do they create that? And for me, those are the kind of images that inspire me. I'm inspired by people's work that is way better than me. Uh, because when I look at it, I think to myself, man, you got to get better. You got to catch those people. Those are the people you got to, you know, get to that level of. And, and that's what pushes me. Um, so in the article, I talk about four things uh, that I will do to try to create more of that impact or wow factor. Uh, one of the things I talk about is black and white uh, imagery, how you use black and whites uh, to create very impactful images. Uh, I know in the beginning of my career, like probably a lot of people, uh, when I would screw up a shoot and maybe the colors were totally off or this was off, you know, our last resort was to turn that image to a black and white image and save that image. And it, you know, it obviously works a lot of, a lot of the time. But I would like uh, you guys to get to the point where when you're creating black and white images that you're thinking in the tonal range and not color range. And so you're thinking about how to make, you know, those images impactful. Um, the other thing I talk about in the article is location. You know, for me, I have two types of locations. Uh, I have what I would call natural light locations, where we're going to shoot maybe 85 millimeters, a 30 to 135 millimeter, and we're going to shoot them wide open. We're going to blur the background out, and then we're going to put the emphasis of the of the picture right there on our subject. And then the other type of location that I have in my head all the time is what I would call a strobe location, where we're going to bring out strobe lights, where I'm going to shoot my 24 to 70, I'm going to shoot it at 24 millimeter, I'm going to take in the entire environment, I'm going to shoot it between F9 to F14 to make sure that everything's in focus. And for me, when I'm shooting like that, I'm really making the environment as important as the actual subject, because we're taking all of that in. And I'm going to talk to you guys about that in the article. Um, the other thing I talked to you guys about is about posing. You know, how do you pose people for power or for impact? You know, for me, I use a lot of hard angles with, with women because I want them to look very confident and very strong. And in my opinion, the way that you can do that is through very hard corner posing. You know, lots of triangles, you know, straight legs, different things like that. And I talk about that in the article. Uh, the last thing I talk about in the article is cropping. You know, cropping is probably the best way I believe to create impact in your images because the way you crop that image uh, you're literally leading your viewer to where you want them to see to the point of interest in your uh, image and I'm going to talk, talk a little bit about uh, cropping for print competition and cropping for impact and presentation and they are two totally different uh, animals uh, I think it's very important that you understand cropping for print competition, you know, how to crop in order to score well. Uh, but I also think it's very important that once you understand that, that you also become more creative and more of an artist and start cropping uh, uh, for impact and emphasis. So that's basically the article this month. I hope you guys get something out of it, and I hope that it helps you guys create images that have that wow factor and a lot of impact. See you guys next month.